Hello and welcome to MATLAB course. In this video with the title Nodes for Command Window, we are going to cover the following topic. First, the format function, which include the line spacing format and numeric format. Two, the semicolon to suppress the echo of MATLAB. And then how to add comment in MATLAB. And finally, how to clear the comment window. Let's start. For the display format or the line spacing format, so the display format will apply for command window. So this is only for the command window. And format compact, it's eliminating the blank lines to allow more space in the command window. And format loose, it's adding blank line. So for example, if we wrote format loose and then we write x equals 300, you can see that the echo from MATLAB x equals 300, but we have here space. If we adjusted that and we write for math compact, and then we write again x equals 300, you can see that the echo here is presented, but there is no more line like blank line. So this is based on your preference. Do you like a wide and we have blank, more, more blank lines, or do you need a compact screen? Let's check, let's check that on MATLAB. And on MATLAB, if we write x equal 300, so you can see there is no blank line. This is format combat. And if we need to choose to change to format loose, to just write for mat and then loose. And the loose it would be in magenta. And then write again x equal for example 10 and you can see this is big space or the add a blank line between the each line in the command window and again if we need to back again to format come back enter and then we define for example z equals 3 so ha now we eliminated all the blank lines i think it's very clear and very easy let's go back again And the second type of format is the numeric format. In the numeric format, we have, I selected only three types, which is format short, format long, and format blank. So format short, the decimal format with a four digit after the decimal point, and format long, and instead of four, it would be 15, and format blank, it would be two. Mm, it is not clear, it's very easy. For example, if we have a, very long number with a very many digits after the decimal point. So how many digits do you need to show for that number? If we selected format short, only four digits will be appeared. If you select format long, so this number will be like 15 digits after the decimal point. If you select format bank, it will only show two. So all of this is by, it's just like this is by and with different value in different format. So let's check that first in MATLAB. So if we go here and we write pi, now we can see four like digit after that decimal point, which is mean this is short. And if we need bank, so we can write format bank and then write again pi so we can see only two digits and if we need long decimal i mean long digit of the decimal point so format long and then pi again we can see here 15 digit of the decimal point and to return back i prefer i mean the short one only four is is okay for the showing for me so for example format short and then we write by again and only we have four. Please remember, I will show that as a note, please remember this is this format doesn't change the value for by. It's only change the appearance of the like how many digits of the decimal point. So it doesn't change how MATLAB save or or store the value of by. It's just showing issue. 
and the format function as I meant affect only how the number are displayed not how MATLAB compute or save them it's just a display how do you prefer your number be displayed for you and to check other format like the numeric format just there are several ways as I'm going to show today as like how to find help with MATLAB just write in your command window doc format to have all documentation related to format and you can find many for example if I wrote in MATLAB here doc and then format the new window will appear with a old documentation about format and different style and different type of format and here's we selected short and long and bank but there are other format please check and you will find very interesting information and the second news for today is a semicolon as we mentioned before when we write a semicolon after the, the, the any text it will suppress the text it means that the output will be suppressed not shown for the screen for example if I write x equals 3 semicolon and press enter MATLAB will not give me the echo for that because we don't need that and the y equal 5 and then we say z equal to 3 uh, x plus y and we know that for example here the x equals 3 and y equal 5 so 3 plus 5 is 8 it will show because we doesn't put but what if if I don't need also to show this mathematic operation so we can write x equals 3 semicolon y equal 5 and we can define multiple at the same line using comma or semicolon but semicolon with suppress we don't have echo and then we can write that equal to x to the bar y or plus y so all of these will be suppressed will not shown in your window and the next note is the how to comment to write a comment and uh, using comment is very important because sometimes we write that long code and we we need to give some description for each part of that code or we need to memorize why we do the step something like that or when we distribute the code for other they can understand so just adding percent sign percent sign will make anything come after that is a comment so that MATLAB will not, re will not read it and will not execute it for example if we wrote percentage sign and then this is a comment line because we add percent sign so this is just for us we just define that and MATLAB will not care about that and then for example if we write x equals 30 and then alpha is equal to sign d of x and we need to put the comment that please note that x is in degree so we just use that percentage sign so no problem for that let's check that on MATLAB for example let's create the screen CLC which is the next uh, nodes for us CLC will create a window and then we can write x equal to 30 and then for example alpha alpha is equal to sine d of x but if we just give some space and then percentage sign and then write like x in degree enter no problem because this is just comment so this is for us not for the pc and the last thing as we uh, as I showed now, if you need, if you have that window with many things and you need to raise everything, if we go back to MATLAB, just write CLC will clear here, but still the workspace have many variables here. If we need also to clear that, we mentioned we write clear, enter, or right click and select clear workspace. Just clear, enter all the variable in the workspace already removed. That's all for today's video. Thank you. Bye-bye.